Hi guys, it's Vicki here, and I just wanted to share with you a log that I've kept over the last week. Uh, actually, it was a couple of weeks ago, but I kept a log for a week of what I ate. And I did it for two reasons. I wanted to really understand what I was eating, and I also uh, was hoping that if there's anyone out there who is considering adopting a raw food diet, uh, but doesn't know what they would eat if they were going to try and eat more raw. Um, I just was hoping that maybe this would be helpful to people. So um, just wanted to share for my own self what I was eating over the last week and if uh, there's anyone out there who was considering raw and was wondering what sort of things a raw food is eats, maybe this will help you guys. So enjoy. Here's a week in my kitchen. Okay, starting a food log to see if I can track for a week what I eat. I start every morning with a big quart of water and a half a lemon squeezed into it and a heaping, heaping tablespoon of Opti MSM Lake, which I just love that MSM, so that's how I start every morning. Just finishing up my smoothie for my morning meal. Two beautiful peaches, fresh summer peaches. For supper, I'm having um, cherry tomatoes, uh, just chopped in half with basil, and uh, chopped up, and three tablespoons of hemp seed and some olive oil-based vinaigrette. And this is a big um, sort of casserole-sized dish. I don't know if I can give you a perspective, but like sort of an oval casserole sort of thing of marinated bok choy with some tamari and it, there's a table a tablespoon of black sesame seeds on top and that's supper okay so here is my final meal of the day it's late in the evening and I'm going to read for a couple of hours and I've got a bunch of grapes and a big handful of walnuts. Breakfast. Goji berries, blueberries, two apples, a whole bunch of spinach, two bananas, two quarts of smoothie. Yum. Yummy, yummy. Just back from my walk, and this is about to become juice. There's half a zucchini, a cucumber, a leek, half a fennel bulb, three Granny Smiths, and celery. And this makes it just a delicious juice. I'm just going to add in the other half of that lime. And that is beautiful, beautiful fennel, celery, Granny Smith apple juice. Yummy. For supper, I'm having a big leafy green salad, mixed field greens with... Um, a spring onion all chopped up and a sweet pepper and a whole bunch of pumpkin seeds on top uh, with a olive oil vinaigrette, olive oil, lemon, garlic, that good stuff. And this is sort of, I eat alongside of it, but it's more like dessert. This is Jennifer Cornbleet's, um Moroccan uh, flavored carrot recipe. Yummy. A peach that I already started to eat. <laughs> and another peach because that first one was so good. Two apples with sort of a handful of raisins sprinkled with cinnamon. Water every morning. Okay, it's smoothie time again. So today I'm going to use my spinach as I usually do. Two oranges, two bananas on top as I usually do and my Canadian blueberries, so a whole bunch of those, so, and uh, goji berry extracts. I want to get some extra antioxidants in today, so I'm going to go with some of that, and it sweetens it up, so smoothie time again. Almost, not quite, but almost half a watermelon. This is a sea green salad with celery and um, green onions and wakame with a sort of a tamari olive oil garlic dressing on it and this is my leftover carrot from yesterday night a black plum a half a pint of blackberries and two bananas two oranges half a container of alfalfa sprouts and probably about 
half of this uh, tub of mixed greens are about to become my smoothie. There it is. Making juice with fennel, carrot, cucumber, some beet, some leftover pepper, celery, a uh, lemon, and a lime. Salsa with corn chips and a uh, green salad with some um, radishes and mushrooms and uh, green pepper with an olive oil vinaigrette. Two peaches. Smoothie time, and as always, we've got bananas, and today some blackberries, a couple of apples. The rest of the sprouts, I'm going to put in a spoon of bee pollen and my greens. Lots and lots and lots of smoothie. These are elderberries that are now in season that just came in my CSA box yesterday, and I'm going to juice them and then mix them with some honey and then make a sort of an Italian soda with some carbon, carbonated mineral water. Yummy! Mm. Yummy. It's a leafy green salad with um, cherry tomatoes or little grape tomatoes and a sprouted camet salad with cucumber and red pepper and celery. Four peaches. Just making my smoothie, I've got my uh, field greens, uh, fresh local field greens, a couple of oranges, a couple of pears, and my bananas, and today I'm going to put in some goji powder. Smoothie time! And that's cool. Okay, this afternoon I'm going to make a milkshake. Yeah, yummy. So I've got, um, I think there's about five dates in there that I've been soaking, and three bananas, some vanilla, and a little bit of sea salt, and some cacao powder. And uh, I'm going to blend it all up, and that's going to make a milkshake, a chocolate milkshake. Yummy. Mm. Added some ice and uh, blend this all up, and that is chocolate milkshake. Mm. Okay, supper tonight is sort of leftovers. I've got the leftover um, camet and cucumber and red pepper salad, um, and some leftover corn chips that were in the chip thing. I've got a tortilla thing that I'm going to do pizza style, I think, tomorrow, with some leftover salsa, and then this is a marinated mushroom, so just a little bit of everything tonight for supper. The rest of my chocolate shake from earlier that I didn't finish earlier. MSM water. Okay, for my smoothie today, I've got field greens, local field greens, two bananas, a whole bunch of honeydew melon, and some blueberries. I just ate some strawberries, I may have a few more, and then I'm going to have a peach. Okay, so supper tonight is um, a pizza that I made a uh, crust for when I made the corn tortillas. I just did a, a big corn crust in the shape of a uh, tortilla sort of a thing, and it's got um, avocado on the bottom and then the leftover salsa that I added a whole bunch of cilantro to, and then some marinated mushrooms on the side. Um, some cherries.